This is called a nebulizer. It's for severe asthma, and I had to have this on my bed stand, and I, I used it twice to three times a week on a good week. I don't ever use it anymore since 2013 when I switched. Yep, pretty basic, not very cool. And we actually don't offer a lot of flavors, but when it comes to flavors, menthol isn't one. I heard uh, Griffin Whitmer, Governor Whitmer say on her interview that uh, we wouldn't let traditional cigarettes get away with this. Yeah, they do. There's nicotine, or there's menthol in traditional cigarettes. So I mean, if we're going to let <coughs> traditional cigarettes have something, I think it's kind of short-sighted to not let the alternative. For about 23 years. Since you were seven years old. Yeah. Well, my mom smoked a few packs a day while pregnant. So I tell people I'm the nicotine or the heroin baby of nicotine. I pretty much came out wanting a cigarette, and uh, even though I promised my kids I'd quit, I couldn't. Now I switched. And now I don't use this. So what do you use specifically now? I use the menthol, which is why this is really important to me. Because what do I do? Do I go back to the nebulizer? What options as a menthol smoker do I have? I'm looking at, at death in a slow, painful way, or I'm looking at options. And right now, my state's the one taking my options. The uh, important thing to remember is that we did just pass legislation before the emergency rules. And that legislation was in effect for exactly 60 seconds before Gretchen Whitmer, sorry. Uh, governor decided to overstep it and say, hey, we need more laws. Why not give the laws we have a chance to work?